pick a number, right? And how are we representing that mysterious number? X. Okay. Or any letter of your choosing. Let's multiply it by seven. How do you show me a number times seven? Seven x. x. Add four, multiply by nine, add six. Do we have a problem here? Got the parentheses between the seven x and four. Between what? Uh, in front of seven x. Okay. What do we need to put those parentheses? What happens if I don't have those parentheses? You multiply nine times four. Nine times four. Well, I just do nine times four, but I wouldn't include all the, the previous steps that I just took before I multiply by nine. So I need to, in order for these steps to happen in this order, I need to collect those terms together in parentheses and uh, force it to be that times nine. And how do we simplify this expression? Distributive property. Distributive property, 9 times 7x, 9 times 4, 63x plus 36 plus 6, 63x plus uh, 42. Remember, remember that when I say pick a number, I'm not, I'm not saying pick saying represent a number with a variable, like x or a or something. Okay. You could add multiply by 6, and then add 4, multiply 3, add 18, divide by 6, and subtract 5. Make sure you use parentheses to make this order, make the order of that expression match the order of these steps. So we take a number, we multiply by 6, or multiply by 3, but I want all this get multiplied by 3, so I use parentheses. Uh, add 18, uh, divide by 6, but I want to divide all of this by 6. I only want dividing by 6 to come at the very end of all of that, and then subtract 5. So if we distribute like we did before, we get 18x plus 12 plus 18, 18x, plus 12, plus 18, divide by 6 minus 5. Okay. We can't divide by, well, we don't probably want to divide by 6 yet. We can combine 12 and 18. We have 18x plus 30, divide by 6 minus 5. Right now, well, now we have this 18x plus 30, which can't be combined. They're not like terms. Distribute the division. Division distributes just like multiplication distributes. So we will divide this by 6 and divide this by 6. So we'll get 3x plus 5 minus 5, and 5 minus 5 is 0, so we get 3x. So 3x, 3x left over. Okay. So we can think of it as distributing the dividing by 6. I just want to show you this in another form. If I think of this in a different way, I can say 
6x plus 4 times 3 plus 18. If I want to divide all that by 6, I could go like that. And then minus 5 after the dividing by 6. Okay. And then we distribute and we get 18x plus 12 plus 18 over 6 minus 5. Combine the 12 and the 18, 18x plus 30 over 6 minus 5. So this can help us to see if the, if the division distributes to both of these things. That can also help me to see why both of these we need to get divided by 6 if we're dividing by 6. Okay. If we divide both of those by 6, we get 3x plus 5 minus 5, and then we get 3x again. Give this one a try. A little bit of a curveball. Yeah, yeah. Let's take a number, multiply by 4. Add 6. Multiply by 2. Add the number you started with. Divide by 3. Add 4. Add 4. And subtract. Take this x from that x, subtract this x from that x there. You say no? Why do you say no? Uh, it doesn't kind of throws off the equation. Because you're still going to go in order. Because uh -huh. you can use and all that still. So you'd still wait until like the very last one. Alright. Because you're not like combining like terms yet, it's not all these things. Okay, so this fraction, th th this x is up in this fraction here, this one is over here at the end. Okay. <coughs> so we gotta do all that stuff first and we'll leave that to the end, okay? All right, uh, so what can we do first then? Distribute the two, we get eight x plus 12 plus x up in the numerator divided by three. Make sure this step over here is saved to the end. Now what? You got an x, you got eight x's. Can you just bring that one over there? Yeah. Why am I allowed to do that? Because they're like terms. It's like having. Okay, that's why I can put an x and an x together. But this x is over here. This x is over there. Are you gonna just put that one over there? It's like having. All right, you got eight x's plus the number twelve uh, plus another x. Uh -huh. You can move that x. The eight x's and therefore you got nine. Okay. How about uh, a, an example of three numbers like two plus seven plus eight, right? Well, the order of operations says do two plus seven then add eight, right? Get nine and then add eight and get seventeen. But can I take this eight and add it to the two? Yes. It's all the same, whether I add the eight and the two and add this, I'm just like, I'm just moving right on the number line, you know, whether I move two first, then seven, then eight more. I could add, I could go two, then go eight, then go seven, I'll still be in the same place. That's called commutativity. I can commute the eight over here to the two, I get 10 plus seven is 17. It doesn't matter what order I put all these together, I'll always wind up getting 17. Okay, so we get nine x, we can do that. Commutativity of addition. So we have this 9x plus 12 divided by 3. Or if you have it written as in parentheses and divide by 3, you can see that both of these have to get divided by 3. Right? So 9x divided by 3 is 3x. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 4 minus x, and now we're going to in this kind of a situation where we can just put like terms together. 
3x minus 1x is 2x, 4 plus 4 is 8. So 2x plus 8. <coughs> And uh, in this class and in other classes, I've seen the same mistake where we have b minus 9 minus 2b. Okay. And I think we can all see it, that 9 comes from 3 plus 6. Okay. But if I wanted to come up with minus 9, I'd have to go out of order, out of the order of operations. Right. Like put this down, but I'd have to have parentheses around those two so that instead of subtracting 3 and then adding 6, I take 3 plus 6 and then subtract the result. Um, so one way we can think about it is if we start at some number b, it doesn't matter what that number is, if we subtract 3 and then add 6, we can see it's the same as doing something else. If we subtract 3, that's the same as going back 3. Right? So all of this is minus 3 is there. And then we add 6. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right, so this is adding 6. And that puts us right here. Right. Which is, well, I get to start at B and then go how far to the right? Instead of going back 3 and 4 with 6, I get to start at B and then go to the right how much? Well, if I start at B and go back 3 and then go forward 6, then I'm right here, which would be the same as just starting at B and then going forward 3. So this guy here is just 3 more than whatever B is, B plus 3. Or we can look at it as plus negative 3 plus 6. So we have negative 3 plus 6 is a positive 3. So whether we look at it as starting at B, going back 3 and forward 6, well, that's just the same as going forward 3. We're saying the number negative 3 plus 6 is the same as positive 3. And if we look at it as plus a negative 2B, B plus negative 2B, negative B, plus 3. I subtract an entire parentheses. Okay, so whatever I get out of that, I subtract, but I can't get that, right? And then subtract it. So how do I deal with this minus parentheses? Distribute. What number am I going to distribute to the parentheses? Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 6p? 6p plus 6p. Right. Negative times negative is positive. Positive times negative is negative. Now we have negative 4p and we have positive 6p. Right. We really have like negative 4p plus negative 1 plus 6p. When we're adding a bunch of numbers together, we can move them around however we like. So I can take a negative 4p plus a 6p and get 2p plus a negative 1 is minus 1. 2p minus 1. subtract 8 times these parentheses, only I can't do the parentheses, I can't combine anything inside the parentheses. So what do we do? Distribute. Distribute. Okay. So we can do 3 
distribute the negative 8, we get negative 56. Um, and then negative 8 times negative 5n is what? Positive 40n. 40n, 3 minus 56 is negative 53. 40n minus 53. Or negative 53 plus 40n is the same thing. something like, uh, let's look at an old idea, uh, maybe gain something new about it. I don't think I saw anybody do this today, but I have seen you do a variation of it where I take 9 plus 5r and get 14r minus 9r, and then you put those together, you get 5r. But the problem here is 9 plus 5r is 14r. Do that? No. no. And why not? Not like terms. Okay? Not like terms? What does that mean? Nine doesn't have an R. Yeah. Okay, nine doesn't have an R. So we're going to put R's with R's. Alright. Um and still I see I see so when you kind of get caught up in all the other stuff that you're doing, I've seen this happen. Okay. So maybe let's learn more about, more than just saying they're not like terms. Let's figure out what it even means for them to not be like terms, or what it means for things to be like terms. And again, I'm going to use my analogy of we're trying to add things together, and doing 9 plus 5r is like adding two different things, like apples and oranges, and getting up oranges, which we can't get. It's not a real thing. But let's look at what there's nine of and what there's five of and why it just even more doesn't make sense. Because what would be really great is if when you go to do something, you, like, like you don't add these together, not because you remember that there's a rule that says I have to add like terms, and I can't add dislike terms, but it just doesn't make any sense. These things just can't go together. So let's talk about what there's nine of and what there's five of. Let's talk about that. Anybody have suggestions? Um, well, they have something. That's why R is there to tell you this is whatever R is in. Yeah. Nine of that is now gone. So it's for like the day or night. But you have five of it. Oh. So you, it's hard to explain. I think I'm kind of making it too complicated. It just means... Well, we can, I think you're talking about this? Yeah. Like, it's still negative nine, but you're yeah. saying it's nine <coughs> of something. It's been taken away from something mm -hmm. from out of five R, which is five of something. Okay, and so you have five of a thing, and, and you take away nine of the same yeah. thing, and that's why it makes sense that we could have, like, we could put those together. Yeah. Okay, but why is, why can we not put these together? What is this nine of? I like guess kind of forget about that for a second. What is this nine of, and what is this five of? Nine doesn't represent anything, it's just kind of there. Like, it's not nine of what, it's just nine. It's not. Okay, just nine. Okay, so let's talk about five. What's there five of? Um, it could be like rocks or something like that. No, that's how we get the rocks. It's really all up. Let's say like five dollars <laughs> or something like that. Okay, so this could be five dollars, five rocks, for R for rocks, why not? Five of R, whatever R is. Right. There's five R's. One, two, three, and it's starting to look like M's. One, two, three, four, five R's. There they all are. There's five of them. Okay. There is nine of something. It's just not nine rocks. It could be nine anything really. We don't know. Well, it's actually, in this case, since it is just nine, it is nine of specific thing. What's it nine of? Not rocks. Not rocks. Not R's. Not R's. Not Q's and not S's and not X's and not anything else. It is a collection of nine. If I put nine things together and I got nine, what do you put? 
put nine of together and get nine? C. But then I would say like nine and S. I, what can I put together nine of and get the number nine? Nine and two. Well, that's a, that's one seven and one two, and that makes a nine. We're getting there though. Yeah. What is there nine of that I put together and get nine? Numbers. Which number? Nine. Put together nine nines and I get nine. Nine and one. Nine and one. No, nine, one, nine. Nine ones. That's what there's nine, nine of. There's nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay? There's little things on the ones that look like ones. There's nine ones. And there's five R's. And now we can see with our own eyes why it wouldn't make any sense to say that there's 14 of a, of a thing. There's not 14 of any one thing. There's nine of one kind of a thing. The number one, nine. Here we have five R's, <coughs> put them together, that doesn't make any sense. 14 R doesn't make any sense. Okay. So adding, 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 all of these together. And then we're adding all of these R's that are added together, and it just doesn't make any sense to say that there's 14. Okay. Just like we said with the fractions, like one third plus one fourth, there are two different things. It's added together to say that there's two of a fraction of some kind, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to say there's 14 of something here. Okay? So that's what we mean when we say like terms. They're different kinds of things. We cannot add them together. Okay? And just kind of forgetting, like I said, about this negative 9r for a second. Let's look at 9 plus 5r okay? and 14r. And let's say that your friend is working with you in your homework and you're still not quite certain why 9 plus 5R is 14R. Okay. Could you use an example and show them why they're not the same thing? Like give me an example of, uh, let's say we just take the number 7 out of thin air. Could you do something with the number 7 to show them that 9 plus 5R and 14R are not the same thing? Seven that would show that this and this are not equivalent to each other. In parentheses? What do you mean by that? Okay. What does 5R mean? I mean, it doesn't mean 5Rs, but it means also what if? Five times the number. Five times the number. What number am I using? Seven in there. If that can be combined to that, then what should we see? We, yeah, we should like this should be the same as fourteen times seven. Is is taking it seven, multiplying it by five, and then adding the number nine the same as multiplying the number seven by fourteen? be much bigger by comparison, right? 14 times 7 is a pretty big number. It's much bigger when you compare it to this number, which is just 5 times 7, right? and then just add on 9. Take a number, multiply it by 5, and then just add on 9. Where by comparison here, we're taking 7 and we're multiplying it by itself, or we're adding to itself 14 times, or multiplying it by 14. It's a lot bigger. Okay? So, when you plug a number in there, it's a little easier to see. We're talking about multiplying some number by five, some number by five, and then adding nine, which is clearly not the same as taking that same number and multiplying it by 14. This is just worlds different. If we simplified it down, we would see that like we would get uh, 44 here, and 98. 
44 and 98? Does that seem right? No. No? Because that's size 35 plus 9. 98, and it's 7 times 10 plus 7 times 4, 90, or, uh, sorry, 70 plus 14, 70 plus uh, uh, 28. I just use the distributive property here. Ten plus four is fourteen, right? Yes. Times seven, so this is fourteen times seven. So I just did this: seven times ten, seven times four. Seventy plus twenty-eight. That's ninety-eight, right? Yes. Okay. So yeah, forty-four, ninety-eight. Not the same. That's an important thing that not everybody understands as well. If this is the same as that, then whatever number I plug in here, if I plug the same number in there, it should come out to be exactly the same. That's what equivalent, equivalent expressions means. It's the same thing. Okay. All right. Um, let me throw some more at you. Looks like we're, we're doing all right if I just give you some like terms and just a matter of rearranging them and, and combining like terms. Okay. It seems like the distributive, distributive property part maybe is giving us some trouble. So let's work on that. Clean this up, simplify this down, and then I'm going to do a little experiment. Okay, so some, some, something, some idea of what we can do to simplify this expression. Go. What? Just true for property. Okay. I can't put these together, not like terms. I can't put these together, not like terms. I'm going to have to deal with these parentheses. Okay. Tell me. This is okay. Okay, so I'm going to distribute 7. How about that? Distribute it to 7. It's not what you got. Why don't you mean like the final thing? Well, I mean, is this even correct? Is this the same as this? Why not? Because already um, seven is negative, and um, that you can't you need two um, negatives to get a positive out of anything if you multiply it. Okay, so if I was distributing this negative seven, then that should have been a negative fourteen if that's going to be positive yeah. ninety-eight. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, that should be a negative ninety-eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but how about if I just think about? Well, I'm going to distribute the seven and then subtract. Then what if I did that? Would that be okay? No, because it also should be negative. It's not saying the same or um it's saying the same as negative. It's supposed to be originally if the parentheses weren't there it would have been eight minus seven. That's what it's saying. It's just if you just ignore that, uh -huh. then you can't do it. Because it's not talking about the parentheses, like what you're getting out of it is gonna be negative or subtract eight or whatever. It's saying that the seven is negative. It's just eight minus seven is what it's telling me when it does that. But is it saying that? Can I, can I just multiply all this stuff together and then subtract it? No, because then you have to distribute it by one. Oh, you still could. Because then the one is negative though, so I guess you could do it that way. So it still needs to distribute this negative one. Yeah. It just didn't get distributed before, so if we distribute it now, will it be okay? steps where we could have been one. Yeah. yeah, okay. So if you're going to distribute, make sure you're either distributing the whole thing or you're realize that you haven't distributed everything you were supposed to. If you're going with a positive 98, it's because you distributed a 7 and you just left the negative in front. Okay, 
negative is, is part of that multiplication. Okay. If we had uh, just another random example of like 32 minus. Now, the natural thing to do would be to add 4 and 1 to get 5, and minus 5 times 5 is 25. But I could also distribute this negative 5 to get negative 20 and minus 5, or I could just do minus 20 plus 5. Distribute the 5, right? 20 plus 5, and just subtract whatever the result is. It's not the same thing. Kind of a weird thing to do, but. All equivalent. All right. So I would definitely, in my dealings with these expressions, I would distribute the negative 7, come right down to here. Then we have 45x minus 21x is 24x, and 8 minus 98 is negative 90. Yeah. In red, I'm going to just rewrite that 24x minus 90. Okay. Uh, let's say we let x be 9. I want you to put 9 in for x there. Oh, that's what I want you to do. I want you to put 9 in for x in this expression. And we'll see how that comes out. So you just plug 9 in the place of x and then do all the arithmetic. Okay, so I, this is a, like it happens a lot if I say x is nine, replace x with nine. Somehow an x still is there. Think of x as an empty spot. That's really what x is. I mean, the whole field of algebra could be replaced with new algebra, where every x was just an empty set of parentheses. Right? That's all it really is, it's just an empty spot for a number. It's, it's holding that number's place in line until that number comes and stands where x used to be. Okay. So instead of x, it could just be 45 times uh, empty parentheses, 3 times empty parentheses, exactly what x's job is. It's just to stand there and wait for a number to show up and take its place. That number is going to be 9. 40 45 times 9 is 405. 8 minus 7 times 27 is 3 times 9 plus 14. We can distribute this negative 7 to the 27 and the 14. That'd be perfectly correct, but we could also just add these two numbers together. 41. And we get 405 plus 8 is 413 minus 7 times 41. Now I want you to plug 9 in for this x. Plug 9 in for the x in the red expression here. Nine to that expression. <laughs> what you get? Your homework is to 
put 9 into this expression. Actually do it. We'll turn it in when we get back next time.